What is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys we here with something new something special from Denmark uh, I checked out uh, geography now Denmark and I was very interested in it was like ants on I don't remember if it was toast just bread or what it was but they were it was like some ants things and somebody was like hey if you want to see that here's a restaurant the number one restaurant in Denmark say it's real good y'all said it's real good if you tell me it was ants I probably wouldn't eat but if you just tell me hey just try this if I ask what that is, don't tell me it's ants. I might not eat it, but you tell me it's like chocolate, I might give it a try, but we finna check it out. This is three uh, Michelin star and world number one restaurant in Noma, Noma, Denmark, I believe. So we finna check this out, see what it's about. Hopefully we see some tasty, tasty treats, some tasty, tasty food. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down your recommendations. This Let's Tuesday check it out. Traveling Young, we have a very special Traveling Young. Mega and Tried on Tuesday edition with our friends. I'm Judy, and this is Michael from California. And we're oh. here at Noma in Copenhagen. Noma in Copenhagen. Not for brisket. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want oh. to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. That's dope. This is like a little TV show. All right, I feel like this should be on TV. special mega-sized Tuesday. The whole episode is tried on Tuesday today here at Traveling Young. Nice. Because we are standing outside of Noma with my very good friends, Michael and Judy, that came all the way from the U.S. Mm. And I have to say, so Michael called me in May, I think it was, right? May, yes. I, my, Miranda and I were driving back from Mons Clint, and he says, I can get us reservations in Noma. Do you want to go? And I said, well... I've never really thought about going. It's not really my style, but <laughs> I mean, going with you guys, totally worth it. Might as well, coming right? Here, first of all, we get to hang out besides this, but also, I mean, it's like going to Disneyland with a little kid. I mean, you guys are pumped. <laughs> tell me about it. No, we are so pumped. This tell is, me about this. Yeah, so uh, we've been to Copenhagen now four times, yeah. and oh, we've tried every nice. time to get into Noma. We've eaten at many of the great restaurants here in the city, Geranium, bar and just couldn't score a table and we had just dang it must be very and very popular and we're like we're gonna try to get a table and boom there were tables open and uh we could only get a table for four <laughs> so hence we, yeah. only, we, we That's invited why you, you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we're so excited to be here this is uh a memory of a lifetime that we've been looking forward to. That's dope. I'm so excited that I get Man, to share. It's gonna be a busy, guys, busy so you restaurant. Can't forget about me now because you're we stuck will on never video. Forget about you. <laughs> yes. yes, and I'm excited because we get the last week of the summer tasting mm. menu. So that's very exciting for me because I love vegetables and fish. So it's perfect. <laughs> um, but we did when we were here last time. Do you remember this? When yeah, we, we we were on bikes and we rode by here during the daytime, thinking we might see someone in the garden. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> well, guess what? We're kind of in the garden now, almost. Exactly. Now. We're here. Yeah, I think we yeah, are. This is so, it. Yeah, that's nice. So it's exciting. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it, very. I'm excited to just experience everything. From start well, to I've heard it's that's the gonna experience. Be cool. And it is all about the experience. That's why I'm excited because I can't think of anybody better to have this experience with. I must be a really fancy restaurant. They in suits and ties. They dressed up real and nice. It is all you about know the that's why I'm excited because I can't think of anybody better to have this experience with than you guys. Oh, we're, so. we're going to have a great evening. It's going to be so much fun. And, <laughs> and you're, you gonna eat and drink. And... You're like my Sherpa. I have to say real fast that mm -hmm. my first time ever to have sushi was with this guy. <laughs> I, did, I like For years, I said, no, 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 I'm not going to do this. And you and I were in L.A. and we had sushi. So... This is another first time experience Ooh. for me with you. I'm very excited. Hey, yes. and I, I only ate sushi because my wife made me try it. But it was like fried sushi. At first I didn't like it, now I can't eat it. I think I just had to get used to the taste. And sushi, so I'm not a this raw is another sushi first type time guy, experience but... for me with you. I'm very excited. There you go. Yes. And I think we need to stop talking now because they've already told us we can like walk in the door. <laughs> So I feel like we should. Yeah. And Miranda's That's like fun. holding the camera and she wants to get involved. So let's head inside and see what's in store for us. Oh, yeah. let's see. Let's right. see. That's going to be very interesting. I have let's see what you got, Denmark. You go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer and install Honey. Wait. Not Honey. Look pretty nice. Looks like a little garden thing. Place where you go get flowers. 
like a florist shop. Man, that is nice. I'm guessing this is like a vegan place. Mmm, tomatoes and flowers. Mmm, cauliflower waffle. Wow. They trying everything. Rocks? seafood platter man they don't look like they give you enough i'll be going out to eat trying to get food i don't know about the plant so i don't know if i need a plant that seafood powder i'm gonna need some some more shrimp though Ooh, egg custard these are pretty interesting meals a cod head it's all fish Wow. Look like a pretty lean cuisine. The lobster looking good. Pile of pies. Oh. Definitely have some interesting stuff. Yeah. And they've been so there guys, all night let type. Me, let me tell you, this is this was our menu. And the shrimp mousse was amazing. Um, and then they, they followed mousse. it up with uh, this zucchini flower mm. stuffed with bee larva. You're pointing and they don't see it, but I appreciate the effort. It, I, it's, right <laughs> it's right here. But it was like, it was zucchini flower stuffed with bee larva. And I thought I wasn't going to eat that. But then we did. Bee larva? We did. I yes. feel proud yes. of us. Let's yes. focus on the ants, guys. But we, all, we all ate ants. Yes, with our ants. Berries. Yes. So they came out with a warm berry salad. Ants and berries? Them look like fire ants. Them ants pretty big, man. I, we all, man. We all ate ants with so, our berries. Yes. Oh. So they came out with a warm berry salad and it was garnished with ants. Right. And okay. Had you ever eaten an ant before? I had eaten an ant And how did you think about this ant? Was it the I, best ant you've ever had? I thought this, the other ant that I had was better. Oh, where were you? No, <laughs> because I had a honeypot ant once, and those were quite mm. sweet. Okay. Michael? Um, Michael? Talk to me about ants. Have so you these, had the ants, these ants were quite small. Yes. yes. I've had large ants in Brazil. Okay. Uh, but oh. they were part of a dessert, and they were very crunchy, like almost popcorn. Oh, okay, and, these were not. And, yeah, the, and, no. and part these of the meringue. Judy, ants? I've never eaten ants, and I didn't really think they were that small. You can't I see like me, small. but I'm going to talk into the microphone. <laughs> I would say any sized ant is a larger <laughs> ant than I would normally ever eat in my life. So. <laughs> oh, I like okay. man. I feel like I would try to taste what the I would try to eat it when I if I eat ate an ant I would try to see like what flat man that that better be a very seasoned ant for me to eat it man and they talking about they done had larger ants before I I I couldn't eat it because I me myself I view I see I view ants as a bug but I guess to eat your own I like the movie ants though you know I like the movie. No, I seen a bug's life. I like those movies, but I don't know if I can eat them. Larger ant than Man. I would normally ever eat in my life. So <laughs> I feel like they're all quite large. Yeah, if I'm eating an ant, I, I mean, I, yeah, I uh, agree. I feel like were, you could see the ants. You could see the silhouette. You can absolutely not a silhouette. I mean, it was like full color. <laughs> yeah, it was like uh, ant it was salad. Like a, it was almost it was like ant pornography. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> it was kind of like it was a lot. It was, it was lot like the ants. movie Ants. Yeah, it, it was. was. I, I was just talking. I was thinking Woody Adam Allen Ant. was somewhere. I didn't even. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, and I feel like, um, you know, I don't know how much bee larva we ate, but it was bee mystery, larva. You know, because yeah. it was just kind of covered up and everything. But the yes. ants. So before I started recording, I said, "Let's keep this quick." By the way, and yeah, um, no. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I thought bee larva was an aphrodisiac. Oh my. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's time for us to go. I am sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to jump in for a minute here that to make a few too. announcements. Number one, on September 26th, that's a Sunday, 
we're going to do our live stream for our 20,000 subscribers. I apologize for the oh, delay. Well, nice. It took a little time for us to organize and make sure we had off. And, and could I think get they got scheduled. more than 20K now. Um, that's going to be at 8 p.m. or 20 hundred hours, Danish time, Central European time, mm. September 26th. That's also the day before Miranda's birthday, which is the 27th. So don't tell her, but we may celebrate a little bit of her birthday during the live stream. So <laughs> please stay tuned for that. Also, I wanted to mention if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer during the live stream, the video. <laughs> please put it in the comments below. We will do our best. The more we, you know, questions we have ahead of time, the easier it'll be for us to answer them. It's really nice. difficult when they're kind of flowing in super fast during the live stream itself. So the next couple videos we'll ask, go ahead and put some questions down below for us to answer and we will do our best to get to them on September 26th. Okay. Last, I just wanted to make a quick comment about Noma. So. You'll probably see that this video has been a little bit disorganized because yeah. when we went, we wanted okay, to shoot. Then. I shot a bunch of video of the food, but I didn't want to interrupt other people. So I didn't shoot a bunch of video of us talking while we were eating. So mm -hmm. that happened later um, in the lobby of the hotel when we dropped Michael and Judy back off. And so there's some moments where we're kind of jumping around a bit and it's not really sequential. And I show some of the food earlier. It's not really the order that we ate it all in because later we talk about certain dishes and I wanted mm. to show the food then. So I apologize for what may appear to be slightly chaotic, but I would have, I, I'd have to say I'll blame the alcohol for that and the fact that we <laughs> went in wanting to focus more on eating and experiencing Noma right. and not necessarily shooting a bunch of video. Um, but it was important for us to capture as much as we could. So um, a bit disorganized, so I apologize for that, but hopefully you've enjoyed so far, and we're going to go back right now to basically hey, seeing our conclusion news. and the last few things that we had to say about the last dishes um, that we wanted to talk about as part of what was a phenomenal experience at Doma. Behind Man. every successful product. Seemed like more of a vegan Smart restaurant, US. though. Noma. Um, I will apologize in advance. We got the wine tasting, and I'm a lightweight. <laughs> So if I veer <laughs> off course, so's the camera guy. Yeah, if, if we veer off course, I blame Noma. Um, but <laughs> what did you guys think? Did it live up to your expectations? I think it exceeded expectations. It exceeded mm. expectations. Yes. I thought it was fabulous. It I, I really loved it. It uh, it was very um, interesting. Well, it yes. Was, oh, well, uh, interesting you know, it to wasn't me. Stuffy. We, you know. There was like an army of people that served us. us too. Right? Yeah. It was that's nice. I mean, the, just nice. the amount of service and conversation. I think we definitely uh, distracted some of the <laughs> service. <laughs> we did. Uh, we, we, we talked. I feel like we talked a little too much to the wait to the wait staff. I'm not sure what yeah. to call them. They were fabulous. They were very mm. attentive. They were very that's nice. conversational. That's nice. They made us feel very at home, but I think we probably talked too much. <laughs> I will say, as somebody who is not a foodie, um, I was very impressed. Like, it was very, like, bougie food, you know, <laughs> like, a I am super bougie if you can turn it if you can garnish it with some ants like it was very that sounds like, a little bougie food you know where it's like a leaf that's been coated in something but it tasted amazing yes oh, yeah. and that's the thing like it wasn't mm. pretentious for the sake of being pretentious it was it was actually just beautiful food that actually really tasted good every dish was a nice. showstopper yes that from the presentation to the flavor, like each dish topped itself. I yeah. thought, and yeah. I felt it was very welcoming. It looked like they had professional chefs in there. Relaxed. Yeah, it was fun. the The servers were engaging, and I just thought overall it was fantastic. Every nice. detail was, was nice. well it was thought out. It was all thought out in terms of just uh, the presentation and can you think of one of because we had so many dishes we had 16 like or 16 or so 16 yes yeah, I think we had 16 courses yes hey all of them look like appetizer though I ain't gonna lie that little everything looked a little small so many dishes we had 16 like 16 or so 16 yes yeah I courses. think we had 16 courses yes <laughs> which one was your favorite how about the soup with the garden. The soup with the garden was soup amazing. Soup with a garden? Yeah. Right. I think that yes. was really cool. Is so that a real ladybug? Like, I have such a sense memory of mint mm -hmm. um, from our honeymoon. So what? that was like so great to like drink the soup. They drinking plant water mm -hmm. um, from our honeymoon. What so type of soup so would require you to have a whole plant in it? And then get the mint. But what about 
don't you mind? Hey, I think uh, it might be good. It might know, be good. The meter is which plate I wanted to lick the most afterwards. <laughs> it's probably the uh, kind of the the rice crispy looking shrimp toast yes. Yes. that oh. had the that was mine. You know, the, uh, the plum sauce underneath yeah. and the little I don't know if they were nuts or the that look interesting. And we had to eat it really quickly. It did look like a little my, rice crispy. Yeah. Now, that like, I think was the one that mm -hmm. uh, you know really sent things over the top. Yeah. I mean they were all were amazing but that, but that one, one was really, really good. i think yeah and that was one, one, that one mm. came out and it looked almost like a piece of bread like it's just it. a piece <laughs> of white bread i would have did, the camera did. yeah sorry so i can talk for yeah <laughs> you should just go on it hey guys yeah. i'm i'm here too <laughs> <laughs> hey like let me tell y'all what i didn't hey, eat let me tell y'all hey, my favorite going? hey yeah, I'm also slightly intoxicated, by the way, because I. <laughs> that was that was it was well, a lot of wine. That was more gamble Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You missed. So one of the dishes had a little gamelbansk in it. Oh, a dog. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was like almost like a little like a drop, oh. like droplet. Yes. And so I explained to Michael and Judy what gamelbansk was. That looked interesting. And it was funny because the waiter was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." He was like, "I would never drink it." <laughs> he totally got the gamelbansk story. Lots of sugar. Lots of yeah. Cook oh, it down. Yeah, do yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like, reduce it, caramelize yeah. it in order yeah, to re yeah. basically remove the taste of what mm. gamelbansk is. Yes. But it was so much fun to we, go with you guys. And we did have a Renee sliding. At least I did. In the hallway. Oh, yes. The, uh, the, yes. the head chef? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, we can't Hello. verify this. <laughs> <and> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it was only like one glass of wine before that happened. So I feel like your <laughs> wits were with you at it's that true. stage yes. still. Yeah, but, but you also you, you ventured to the kitchen too. I did. I thought I was going to the bathroom, but I went to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but I also, I mean, I think the building was just like so cool. The compound. This, yeah, the space that we were right. in, the view that Ooh. we had. And that like is pretty nice. Sections where yeah. they like arrange the dining areas in such a way that, that is not, nice. Uh, like walking the, through another dining room, room too much. That's pretty top notch, right there. To the kitchen and stuff. It was right. super cool. It was. Oh, it's like it's like a campus and just uh, indoor outdoor. It was just. I think we get the Noma obsession. That looked real nice. <laughs> Why people around the world just want these reservations, and it took us so long, and now I get it. I mm. totally get it. If you asked me a week ago, Great I would have said. I'm just glad that I'm here with you guys. <laughs> While I'm still glad I'm here with you guys, I'm also glad we went. So thank you yes. for yes. pushing us to go yes. because it was a really, really cool experience. And, and game season starts. That's, that's good. That's and I like <laughs> game. Me. I don't think I'm going to make it. I will go. As I said last time, I'll go if you guys come again. Okay. okay. We're coming back. All so right. We'll have to find that uh, next reservation and then book another trip. Yeah. yeah. I love it. That sounds perfect. So thank you guys for joining us on this like mega tried on Tuesday. Much of this was basically yeah, shots nice. of food we didn't shoot a bunch of stuff while we were eating um other than just the food itself but again thank you guys it's still for tuesday it's still t i don't know what is it it's still <laughs> tuesday okay. the was like 5 45 so it's still tuesday yeah, it but uh thank you guys for joining us no, yeah. thank, thanks and for being here thanks it was great and i still have a bit more fun with you guys over the yes. next couple days before yes. you guys yes. leave you won't see any of we're, that, but I get to have fun. Helsinger. Helsinger, and we're going to go to Kronberg and the Maritime Museum. Yeah. And then I Ooh. think I'm going to join you guys on a boat. I'm basically going to join you for a bunch yes. of your vacation. I'm going to be what's called the third wheel. But <laughs> on a boat, what is that, like a third oar? I don't know what. You're the captain. I'm the captain. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We'll <laughs> go with that. Uh, let's give yes. a shout out to all the, the servers at Noma and everyone oh. who made those amazing dishes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. They oh, were super I didn't nice. check that yes. out. Food Thank you for being them. amazing and awesome. Thank you, Noma. So much fun. We'll say goodbye for now, though. Thank you for joining. Hey, right, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, I, man, I felt like I could try. I'm not. I'm not vegan or anything, but you know, I'm a carnivore. I'm a meat eater out here. You know, I ain't gonna lie. But I wouldn't mind trying that stuff, you know, for the first time, for an experience. But I might have to close my eyes and just... Because I ain't going to lie. If I seen some of that stuff, I'd be like, dude, I don't know about if I'm going to eat this. Uh, the ants, maybe. I'll, I'll really have to close my eyes to eat the ants and see. Um, the soup with the plant in it that they were drinking... I don't know, but I'll probably have to take the plant out. Maybe the plant giving the flavor or whatever, the grass, whatever was in there. But they definitely, like they said, it was like, it looked a little bougie in there. It looked a little bougie, but definitely looked nice. Definitely looked like an experience, but 
I appreciate you guys for sending that to me. I never seen nothing like that, you know. So, and like I said, it's probably because I'm not vegan. So I might we might have something around here kind of like that, but I don't know because I, man, I'm used to eating chicken. I'm used to eating burgers and all that stuff. So you know, I'm going to the best burger joint or chicken joint for some hot wings or something. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all continue to send out recommendations. Hey, shout out to Denmark. You know, I appreciate you guys. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Hey, send me more recommendations about different things about Denmark. I'll check it out. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.